Good morning, kings and queens. Hopefully today you're having a beautiful day. Hopefully today you say, you know what? I might go through trials and tribulations, but I'm not going to let those trials and tribulations stop me from being great. I'm not going to sit up here and worry about the world loving me. I'm going to love myself through the mirror. I know one thing about life is this right here. No matter what you go through, you always have to understand this right here. God called you for a time just like this. Switch it up. Hey, you know, the thing about life is this right here. God will send you people in your circle, in your time of error, in your time where you don't believe in yourself, in your time thinking that you can't make it. But God will always send a word to you. I love that right now because I have a sister and I love my sister to life. I promise you, I love her so much. She, you might, she might have to go on. She might have to get put on my wheel somewhere. Love my sister to life. I promise you, I love her so much. She, you might, she might have to go on. She might have to get put on my wheel somewhere because I love her so much. I really, really do. And one thing about her today, um, as I was talking to her, we was having a great conversation. She always giving me so much wisdom. Like she gave me a lot of wisdom. Like, guess what? Saturday and, Saturday and Sunday is now my day where, look, Jacko's taking a mental break completely. I am. No, I answer all these phone calls every single day, praying for people, pushing people, helping people out. But my sister told me, she's like, you got to take a mental break before you break down. So the dads were talking to her today. It was having a great, great conversation. And I said, you know what? So I need you to do something. I say, when I ask you to do something, sis, I need you not to turn me down when I ask you to do something, sis. And she's like, oh, what? I said, I need you to pray for me right now. When you pray for me, I need you to pray that I can I can lead people where they need to be at, but also I can push away people when I need to. And I said, I need that prayer. She was like, but Jacko, I don't, I don't like praying. You put me on the spot. I said, yeah, I got to put you on the spot. I got to put you on the spot right now because if I don't put you on the spot, what's going to happen is you're going to stop. You're not going to do it. You're going to keep on making excuses why you can't do anything. So let me tell you something. My sister that does not pray, pray today. And I can't lie to you at all. That was one of the one of the strongest prayers that I've heard in 2024. Because my sister, she talks real fast. But it's like when she was praying today, she was talking fast. But God, I told her one thing, she'd probably say, slow it down. Just go ahead and slow it down. She's like, but, 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 but. And she done it. And she kept on going. She kept on just speaking. She kept on just praying. Understand me, kings and queens. As she was praying. God slowed her down when she was praying. God, she speeds up air, but she sped up. She said, God, I want you to, I want Jacko to get the rest that he needs. She, and she said, God, I want you to make sure when Jacko prays, when, when Jacko helps people out, this, that, another, he understands that he have to release them back to everybody else. Then she sped up again. So every time she done it, God slowed her down without me even telling her nothing else. Understand this right here. When God sends you people in your life, it's not to harm you. It's to help you in situations in your life. Everybody goes through something in their life where they have to change it up. Like y'all would have spoke to them. Y'all would have been on the phone to hear where they told me I need a mental break. I told them no. It was her and my other friend. I told them I don't need no mental break. I'm good. I've been doing like this for a long time. I've been on fire for God, and I keep on going. But see, David said, Jesus had the rest. And if you say you don't got a rest, you're bigger than Jesus, and you're not. I was like, right. So right now, what I got to do, let me show y'all something. Right now, every single Sunday, like a little kid, in like a little kid at a daycare or a little kid that stays with his mom, everything like that. If you have an iPhone, you already know we got notes, right? So every single Sunday, Sunday, every single Sunday, they don't trust me to actually say I'm going to actually take a mental break. They don't trust it at all. So you know what they made me do? Like a little kid. What's up? Hey, let me do it, Miss Joseph. I got to, they, they made me act like a little kid. And every single Sunday, I have to put notes in here to show that I'm taking a break to these grown, amazing people. Yes, you see, you see, since the name of Aisha and Campbell, I have to take a mental break and put on there every single time that I took a mental break. That means if I take my take my little boy to the park, I don't got to put the time. OK, I took my little boy to the park. OK, I took my little boy to the gym. OK, yeah, I, I done X, Y, and Z. That's what a good friend is. That's what a good sister is. That's what a good assistant is that don't get paid. But that's what somebody good is. Well, the general, that's what somebody good is. So when you're meeting people in your life, stop 
running away from them if you know they mean good. Now, if you know they bad for your life, you know, nah, they ain't good. It's, it's they, we, we're toxic. We're speaking and they're taking all my joy. They're doing everything like that. Then learn to cut ties. But if you are around somebody like the general, me and him, me and him had a conversation. Me and the general having the other number for a while. We had a conversation last week. And I told the general, I said, General, you won't want to call me. We good. He's like, Jack of for real, for real? I like he's gonna blow your phone up. Cool, no problem. It's you, the general. And he knows that damn day too. I got boundaries. I have mental days. He knows it now. Saturday and Sunday is the mental day. So he asked him being my little brother, what he gonna do is, all right, bro. Burn ourselves Saturday and Sunday's gonna be his mental day. I'm gonna just reach out to Jacko Monday through Friday or something like that. But that's what family do. Family wanna see you succeed. Family wanna see you grow. Family wants to always make sure that you grow. So what I need you to do moving forward, everything, do this right here. I need you to pray about the new person that's coming in your life. I need you to learn how to release people after you help them. I need you to sit back and say, you know what? If this friendship does not work for me, I'm going to let this friendship move. The next one I need you to do is understand that it's called a winning season for a reason. But understand you have to go through testimonies. You have to go. You have to fall and bump your head sometimes. It don't mean about, it don't mean at the end of the day you're bad. It means at the end of the day you're doing something right. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, Ocean Boy, I didn't read the comment yet. But, yeah, my sister Aisha and uh, Joseph and uh, Jenner and uh, hey, y'all pray for them. Talk to them in the comments. Do what y'all do first. They my minds. Um, 26 never had a conversation with one Okay, cool. Yeah, they're going to help you out in the comments. So, Miss Joseph, you can see his comment right there. Look, speak to him on that. The general, you want to add something in, do it, do it. But it's time for me to get back to the message. So, what I need y'all to do is just know no matter what you're going through, in present day, you are winning. In present day, you are growing. In present day, God is going to show up in your life and change everything in your life. He's going to make you stronger and better. But you have to let God sit in the driver's seat and you got to sit in the passenger seat. You have to make sure no matter what you do, you keep on embarking on your life. You keep on telling yourself where you want to be at and you keep on letting God control everything in your life. That's what you got to do. But if y'all don't know who I am, this is your first time coming here. My name is Kyle Jacko. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I am here. I'm here every one of these days and I will always be here on these days between the hours of 7, 8, 9, 10. Hold on, I counted real bad. Hold on. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Got it. Reading Rainbow Jacko. I messed it up. So make sure you go on there. You hit the bell on. So when I go live, you can know it. If you miss this live, you just not jumping in. Shout out to Beautiful and everybody else. You can always go on a YouTube channel and you can catch up the whole is you can catch the whole thing. It's called Morning Motivation Recap, TikTok Recap. And I'm doing it every single day. Every day I'm doing it. If you come into this live, I have miles in this live. I don't focus on comments. And I really don't. But you will get blocked real quick if you say something negative. That's just what they do. And their block game is real strong. Matter of fact, somebody just got blocked right there. I don't know what they said. And I'm doing that because I want to concentrate on God's word, on word. I do not want to concentrate on, yeah, okay, general money. I don't want to concentrate on the comments because this right here is not going just to you right now. It's getting put on YouTube to thousands of people. And I want people to know that they come on TikTok, they have good lives they can go into. They might be able to go into the general's life, Aisha's life, Joseph's life. I want people to just see this and be like, you know what? Well, TikTok, they say TikTok bad, but this dude do this every morning. I think I'm going to check it out. So make sure you embrace the love of God with you. Make sure you go out there and do something good. And make sure no matter what you do, something great for you. And it's your first time here. I got a surprise for you. It's time for the We Win Wednesday prayer. I do a win. I do a prayer every single day in this life. But when it comes to We Win Wednesday, it's me declaring to you that you're going to win today, no matter what you've been through. So Wednesday, remember, it's the We Win Wednesday prayer. Okay. Let's go. God, as I come to you right now, God, I want to say thank you for this message today. God, thank you to my sister for praying for me today. God, thank you to all the people that I help out every single day because, God, they're making me want to take a mental break the good way. They're making me want to slow down. They're making me understand that, God, I'm not a superhero. 
God, I'm Jesus Christ, God, Yahweh, I'm not bigger than you. I have to take breaks. I have to do it. And yes, God, I know I want to save so many people. I want to just pray and just help out everybody. But God, rest is needed. Rest is something that I'm not going to lie, God. That's one thing I battle with. I stay up. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. And I don't go to sleep until 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. But I know God is unhealthy. I know it is, especially when I'm training people and I'm working out myself and I'm doing these videos, doing everything. God, I pray that in 2024, I get more rest. I pray in 2024, you keep on sending people like Aisha and Campbell to always give me a word, even though I don't want to listen to it. I pray whoever you got, you send next, be able to just nail it in that I need rest. The nail it in that, yeah, Saturday and Sunday, you got to take another day off in the week. I don't know how they're going to do it. I really don't. Because Saturday and Sunday is something that... Let me stop. Let me just stop right there. God, whatever you send for me, God, let it happen. God, I pray for anybody that have haters in their life, God. The haters become their motivators. God, I pray right now that their voice gets stronger and stronger every day, God. They know at the end of the day that, God, you are bigger, you are better, and God, they can make it. God, thank you for everything you're doing in our life. God, make 2024 bigger and better because, God, we are your children, and I know you're protecting us every single day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So just remember this, you're blessed, you're highly favored, you want a God's greatest creations, your crown has been put on top of your head for you to go out there and be great, and like my little daughter do when she speaks to me, and then we're twinning right now, we're twinning right now because we're winning right now, Ooh, that was rapping right, right there, that was a rap right there, we winning right now because we, hold on, we're twinning right now because we're winning right now, Ooh. You know what? I don't think motivation of speaking in life coaches is my gift. I think I need to, like, be a rapper. No, I think I don't need y'all to say I don't need to do it. I used to post up the comment one more time. Remember, if you're in this live and you showed up late and you wanted to get this word, but you missed it because it was it was too it was too early for you, and you just jumped in right now, you want to just catch and see what I said today, the message was big. She's pinning up the comment right now, and I would love for you to go on the YouTube channel, share it to your haters, share it to your mom, share it to your dad, share it to your uncle, share it to your cousin. Let them know you watch something very positive on YouTube today. And it's right there at the top, YouTube channel, Kyle Jacko, snap, screenshot it right quick, save it, press right there, and just go out there and watch it. Today's beautiful. Today's message was very beautiful, real intent. And the sister I was talking about is Aisha. I said I wasn't going to do it, but... I did. That's the sister that prayed for me today. Fast and slow. Hey, hey, I don't know if y'all see this. Got this chain Sunday. Love it. I really do love it because it's the cross. And guess what it means? Even when you go through stuff, you have to rest. Even when they don't like you, you have to be able to keep on moving forward and not worry about them. Even though when he was on the cross, he had all these whoops. And he kept worked all these times when he was on the cross. He still didn't say a mumbling word. So if he ain't saying a moment of word when he was going through what he got to go through, stop cursing everybody out because they don't understand you and they don't like you. My name is Kyle Jacko. My last gift for you is this right here. <clears throat> Say his name. God, let's go. Y'all have a beautiful, amazing day. I will be seeing y'all in the morning. Make sure you keep on loving on others. Make sure you love on others, but you look in the mirror, you love yourself. Joseph, the general. Aisha, everybody is in there right now, people that I do know. Hey, y'all have a blessed day. I'll be seeing y'all in the TikTok streets, and I'll be seeing y'all on live tomorrow morning. Take care. Be blessed.